Hello. Um, I am going to do a very quick uh, whiskey review. These are all of my uh, whiskeys that I have acquired um, this past uh, month. Um, and I've come across some of the best whiskeys I've ever tasted. Um, one of which is Mitcher's and uh, Buffalo Trace. Buffalo Trace is the standard, it is going to be, is basically my go to. Uh, bourbon uh, besides Mitchers. Uh, so I, re I, re um, I rated them uh, for your, your convenience. Uh, this is Wood Woodford Reserve uh, Distiller Select. This is Colonel E.H. Taylor Small Batch. This is Buffalo Trace. This is Elmer T. Lee Sour Mash. And this is Mitchers Straight Rye Whiskey. Mickers Straight Rye Whiskey. So, um, this one goes about $35, this one goes about um, $47, this one goes about $29, this one $36.99, and this one goes about $47. The reason why I, I rated this an 8.5 is because um, I really didn't like the na the aftertaste. Um, even after a week of opening, you still have that barrel, like that dirty barrel taste, which I didn't really enjoy. Um, so that's the reason why I gave it an 8.5. Uh, the Colonel E.H. Taylor uh, small batch is basically the same thing as Buffalo Trace, uh, but it's a lot smoother. So it's a perfect beginner whiskey or for someone that you know any ladies out there that don't like the you know the whiskey taste I suggest this one this one is you know the best as far as the smoothness the taste it's very good but for my palate it's very forgettable um, so that's why I give it a 9.3 this one is the cornerstone the you know I'll always drink this uh, this bourbon because you know it's just so it's so perfect um, it's the spice the aroma the taste the aftertaste the afterburn just everything about it is is you know perfect um, that's why I gave it a 9.4 it's very good um, Elmer T. Lee sour mash it's a little bit better than uh, Buffalo Trace um, it has more of a body to it more oily, more um, more s a slight slightly spicier. Um, it's just very good. It's very good. Um, but you know, like I said, I'll, I'll go with this one because it's a it's the price is there. It's you know this one's twenty nine dollars. This one's thirty seven dollars, and this one is very hard to find. This one is very easy to find. Uh, to Mickers straight rye is one of the best uh, whiskeys I've tasted it's the straight rye whiskey um, but the thing is you know I, I really didn't like it the first day when I opened it because it was just too spicy but after a week um, of letting it settle um, it's it just became the most the perfect whiskey I've ever tasted um, I it's the best I've ever tasted and I'm probably going to to uh, pick out you know more of their um, their versions their bourbons their sour mash and everything else uh, it's just a great all-around uh, bourbon it's just very strong and unforgettable uh, so this one will always be with me this one um, and, and any I'll try all the other mixtures and I'll let you guys know what how it goes this one like I said is 40 about $47 but it it's worth every penny uh, so okay, okay, so that's uh, like okay, so ninety-eight, nine point eight for for Mickers Straight Rye, nine point five for Elmer T. Lee Sour Mash, Buffalo Trace nine point four, uh, Colonel E. H. Taylor nine point three, uh, Woodford Reserve Distiller Select eight point five. Um, give me a, a thumbs up if you like this review. If you'd like me to do more, let me know. If you have any suggestions. Uh, any whiskey suggest suggestions, let me know. And thanks for watching.